So Christine, let's uh, have a tour. Let's okay. Uh, okay. show us so around. I'll show you from the back row. You saw before the tomatoes were so small. Um, these two right here, one of my favorites. These are called purple Cherokee and they get big, huge purple tomatoes. This one's probably ready to pick. They get dark green at the top. It's best if you let them ripen, you know, inside a little bit so bugs bugs don't get them but it's a really pretty tomato and really these are of the meaty. of the heirloom variety yeah and they're indeterminate so they'll just keep growing they'll keep going up and up they become really big plants my newest favorite is called persimmon it makes these beautiful yellow tomatoes. I picked a ripe one just now. And so they're ripe when they're yellow? Yes, bright yellow, like a, almost orange. And these are... Like this one? Yeah, but I'll show you the ripe one I picked. It's, it's really pretty. These are Princess Brigade. I've been picking bunches, but they'll... They're cherries? Yeah, they grow in nice big bunches. Really pretty. I'm having a problem right here, I'm not sure. Something's eating my leaves, but I've got tons of tomatoes. I just picked a bunch. This variety is Tappy's Heritage. It's a southern, southern variety of tomatoes. It's just a round red globe. These two are turning. These next ones are San Marzano. It's Italian. They're kind of a funny and lumpy plum shape, but there's one turning red right there. All of these pretty much are indeterminate, so they get very quite large. These are called Bizagano, but I think she may have switched her trays because Bizagano is supposed to be another plum, but these are definitely an heirloom globe type tomato. And then these are just plain old plums that she had. They're becoming quite plentiful too. A bunch on that. And this last variety is called black cherry. They are really similar in color to the um, purple Cherokees, but they're cherry. They seem to be late bloomers. I know last year when we grew them. Well, we picked a lot last week. Let's see the other side. Okay. This was just a bush bean, but it's actually flowering again, which I learned it's not really supposed to. I picked a bunch more beans off of it yesterday. And this long plant is an heirloom pumpkin. It's called a sugar roaster. Cherokee Indians have been growing it for years and it ran into the cucumbers and the cucumbers started coming this way so now I know I need to give everything really a lot more space. But Is this today's harvest? Today's harvest. I don't know if that's any good. Um, my jalapenos, I've never seen a jalapeno gr plant grow this many jalapenos. It's like, it's crazy and I have a bunch of flowers. And if you pan in on that, that's a baby pumpkin. I'm not sure if it's gonna make it, but I have three baby pumpkins right now. Pumpkins grow yellow until they're mature and then they turn orange. That one kind of has stopped growing, unfortunately. I have another larger one down the vine. These are mini bell peppers, good for snacking. And some Japanese eggplants. Here's some cute ones right here. Look at this, this is better. And traditional Italian eggplants. I just picked one of those. Another pepper plant and a spaghetti squash that I may have gotten in the ground a little too late. That's taken off pretty good. 
And what's this right here? Harper. Harper. We have greasy beans that we just planted. Probably also a little bit too late, but we're gonna see what they can do. Okay, well we'll check in later in the season.